Hello everyone, I'm your host Boss Zombie. Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Onwards to Violet. So we gotta go this way. I wonder if I disintegrate them. Will it count? Ah, oh, fuck, this game's loading. Give me heartburn. If I disintegrate, will that count? I remember what's a little tricky about this area is that you have to go through one area into another because it's like surrounded on all sides, which kind of sucks. But that's how the fiends roll, I guess. Right. Yeah, yeah, fuck you. Remember, there's going to be a lot of guys in here, I think. Oh, yes, there's lots of red dots. Get up, Mark. I mean, if that fits with the schedule. Whoa, what? How'd you hit my hand? Shit. That was annoying. made themselves a hell of a fortification. See what area I've just entered. Is this Cook Cook? I don't have his bounty. Cook's head. But where is Violet? She's probably over there. Oh, yes, yeah, she's probably over there. And where is Driver Nephi? Wait, her dogs are hostile even though I have animal friends? <laughs> oh, damn it. Who did that?
Well, I got two of them done. And didn't even mean to, so that was cool. Couldn't be closer to the entrance. Of course they couldn't be close to the entrance. Daughtry. What did they say? He's Major Daughtry? Are you chilling in the infirmary? No, you're not even in here. Why is it telling me to go in there? Wish I could have been there to see Caesar die. What an asshole. Well, I see you're still alive, and that's promising. Any luck on that bounty? Uh, I want to claim a bounty. That right. You killed one of the psychopaths on my shit list. Let me see the scumbag's head. Yeah, that's Cook Cook. Ugh, did he always smell like this, even before he was dead? And the fiends let this guy touch their food? Well, this is payback for at least one of my troopers. She'll be glad to know he's dead. Here's your caps. Think you can take down another one of these scumbags? Up to you. But I can trust you to do the job, and I'd hate to see you walk away. I'll do it. That's the best damn thing I've heard all day. Finally, somebody around here with some goddamn ambition. There's two psycho bastards left. Which one will it be? Violet. Claim the bounty. That's two Oops. psychopaths dead. If you can bring down the third, there's a bonus in it for you. I'll go after Driver Nephi. If you've got some guts, I'll give you that. Nephi is one tough son of a bitch. You let him get close, and he'll take your head off. My advice is this. Talk to Lieutenant Gorobetz. He's in charge of Alpha Team, first recon. Snipers. If you're lucky, you can lure Nephi into the open, and the sharpshooters can bring him down. You bring me the head, you'll still get the bounty. It's a better bet than trying to take Nephi one on one, but it's your call. I can take him. Out in the yard, Gorobetz coordinates our sniper teams. He's been gunning for Nephi for weeks now. Only thing he hasn't had is willing bait. Don't have enough troops to order anyone beyond the fence. Not anymore, anyway. Got it. You've gone out. Okay, so where is Nephi? Is that... that doesn't look like it's in it, the ter fiend territory, does it? It's further south. I see he's like in this giant fortification, which could be possible. No, he's out here. Okay, good. Is that him there? I've been doing this, this longer than you, pal. And I'll take your golf driver and use that later for something funny. Oh, hey, we're Death of Murder Mountain. I killed more things. Alright, let's go back. This might end up being a little bit of a long episode, but just because this is all tedious and I want to get out of the way. It's not tedious, it's still stuff to do, but... It's, I doesn't, I don't feel like it warrants being two different episodes. Hopefully it doesn't end up being like an hour long, that would be a little rough. Oh, now you're near the entrance? 
No? Wait, what? Where are you? Still working on that last... Here's the bounty. You killed another one. Let me have a look at the head. Well, well, well. Driver Nafai. Nothing to say, you son of a bitch. No tips on my golf swing. Lost a lot of good men to this psychopath. Morale's gonna be better now that he's gone. Here's the bounty I promised. I guess we can send First Recon down to Camp Forlorn Hope. They need all the help they can get there. You've been one hell of a stroke of good luck, you know that? Those three scumbags probably killed 20 NCR troopers. And you bring them down alone. Wish I had a few grunts as good as you. Damn good working with you. Wait. Perimeter's been quiet since you left. The fiends are running scared. I doubt they'll give a Oh, that's right. Motor, Motor Runner is another one of the fiend leaders. He doesn't have anything to do with that. But that quest still affects the ending, so it's fine. I don't think he does. Uh, motor runner. Uh, but 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 but. Hmm. I don't know, I guess he is. Motor Runner. What is Motor Runner for? I think, yeah, he does affect the ending of the game. And there are people that want him dead. How'd you have a plasma rifle? Crazy bastard. Crazy guy. Oh, hey, I found Vault 3. Um, wait, did I find Vault 3? I can't seem to find yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Time for more fighting. I know. Oh, here we go. There's no one here, guys. Relax. Oh. I guess it's better than having to sit through the whole animation. What the fuck are you doing here? You've got some kind of fucking death wish, asshole? Isn't this Vault 3? Home of the Fiends? Final warning, asshole. Get the fuck out of here, or we are gonna waste your ass. Let's see how tough you are. All right, asshole. You just fucked yourself. You no, I think not. You like this kind of You know, for what the fiends are and what they do, there's a surprising number of ladies in them. Among them, I should say. What was that, a little tickle gun? Isn't there a guy I need to save in here? No? I could have sworn there was if you, like, hung a left. Anders something or other. Oh, here we go. This is it. Uh-oh. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Hey, Raul. Where's Eddie? <laughs> Come on, guys, get up. <laughs> that was actually pretty funny. Okay. More mindful now. There we go. 
How the hell did you get in here? And who the hell are you? Can you tell me about this place? What are you looking to find out? What's an NCR doing here? NCR tell Ranger. me why I should tell you anything. I don't know you. I'm an independent contractor with the NCR. Oh, my apologies, sir. I was sent here by Colonel Shu to exterminate Motor Runner, the leader of the Fiends. Uh, Shu sent me here to find you. He sent you? Why? Colonel is concerned you missed your check-in. You can go back to old Shu and tell him that the mission will be completed. I just need a couple more days. What's the holdup, if you don't mind me asking? What's it look like? I caught one in the leg. I killed a dozen of those degenerates sneaking my way in, but one got a drop on me. I hold up here after I killed that one. They're too stupid to unlock the door, so I knew they'd figure whoever attacked had just taken off. I just need a day or two, then I'll take out Motor Runner myself. I even got his key to the maintenance wing. Situation's under control. Hmm, I'm afraid your leg looks and smells like it's on the verge of infection. God damn it. I know. Was just hoping that, uh, are you trained as a doctor? Can you fix my leg? If you head for Camp McCarran now, I think you'll make it. God damn it. Fine, I'll head back. Are you saying you'll handle Motor Runner yourself? Yeah. Here, take this. It's the key to the maintenance wing. Should make getting to Motor Runner that much easier. Good luck. Oh, hello, secret door. Oh, just like that you can get out. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Flaming son of a bitch. Nice. That is much easier. Oh god, that guy dropped dead. Get him, boss. You like the sight of your own side. Ah! Ah, damn it, that's gonna stink. Well, that dude has a chainsaw. Oh, because it's motor running. Keep your helmet. I need that to show someone, I think, later on. And... There's the cleaner I needed. Wait, so each vault has a different component I need? I thought I could... No. Fuck. So this will... I'll just make this as a supersized episode, I guess. Maybe I'll split it in two. I don't know. Really with this bullshit? How do I activate the door? Let's dance. Hey, Doc. You like the sight of your own blood? Oh. I've been doing this longer than you, pal. Thank you. Shit, shit. Anders is gonna die. That takes care of that. Yeah, I took care of that, dumbass. Man, I do have to fuck up every single goddamn fucking shower. Yeah, I guess I'll break this up in two episodes. I'll do a weird little cut in the middle. Come on, fucking game. I don't have time for your bullshit. It took a lot longer than I remember it taking. Which one's Vault 11? Is that the one with like all the security and bullshit?
Fuck you, game, just let me go. There's Helios 1. For the love of fucking Christ, come on. It takes so long to get anywhere in this game. I'm starting to really get angry with it. Alright, Vault 11. Call it out rock, whatever. Do you guys really still not deal with them? This way? I think this is the vault with the death machine. Watch out, Mousy. Yeah, lower level. What the hell was that? Oh, there's a tripwire. I need a key? I don't know where the key is. Fuck. Can I not just go this way? I need to do all the bullshit in this vault. What's the mouse doing? Okay, mousey, you keep being you keep doing you. Like. for me what are they doing they're so goofy I love them which way did I come in from this way thing about the layout. I've just been running through here because I'm annoyed. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Wow. Nice. Mises. Ugh. 
Who are you fighting, Eddie? It's not worth it. Come on. Okay. So I've got everything I could possibly need. Your dumbass bunker. Where am I going? Where am I doing? My brain is turning off. My brain is just completely off. It's just so frustrated, annoyed. Well, at least I did three card bounty, so that's something. I think I just turn this in and then there's like another little extra bit and another little side quest. And then that's it for the Brotherhood. I think. I hope. I pray. Back again, I see. Have you found all the components we need? Wait. What? Don't glitch out again, please. Do I have to give him to Lorenzo, maybe, and then it's... and then... Morning. Good to see you. Alive, that is. Have you found all of the components yet? Oh, they're out here. Really? I mean, that's great. I knew you could do it all along. I'll get right to work installing these. Why don't you go tell the Elder the good news? I'm sure it'll be a huge load off of his shoulders. The most annoying quest ever. But whatever, it's done now. What even is a HEPA cartridge? Back again, I see. Yes. <sighs> good news for a change. Your efforts have humbled me, outsider. You have done more than I could expect, even from my brothers. <sighs> Moreover, I've been going over the scouts' reports and keep coming up with the same conclusion. The NCR is not the threat I've believed it to be. We should not have had to rely on your help in this crisis. I believed my actions were guided by caution and prudence, but I now see the truth. People called me a hero after what happened at Helios, but I left that battle scarred by fear and have allowed that weakness to govern my actions. That ends now. I will undo the wrong I have done my brethren and lift the lockdown. With luck, we will once again flourish. Please, take this. It is a small token of my thanks and scarcely begins to repay the debt owed you, but is all I am allowed to give an outsider. This key will allow you to use our safe house to the northeast. I hope it will prove useful in your travels. Damn, I lied. Nice. Welcome, outsider. Welcome. The lockdown has been officially lifted, and everyone seems to be in good spirits. With the surface open to us once again, Harden's already started talk of sending a force out to attack Helios. But I hope to dissuade him. What can I do for you? I want to join the Brotherhood. You've certainly earned the right. But I'm afraid there's a slight matter of protocol that must be dealt with first. Exceptional individuals, like yourself, are sometimes allowed to join the Brotherhood if they perform a valuable service for it. While your actions up to this point have been commendable, I am afraid they don't quite qualify as such a service. However, I do have another task that fits the bill rather nicely. Would you consider undertaking it? Sure! As one of our patrols discovered, the mutants just to the northeast have become strangely violent in the years we were secluded. However, this turn of events could also be an opportunity. We mostly left the equipment of the communications array there alone, out of respect. As the inhabitants have now proven themselves hostile, no more respect will be accorded them, making their equipment fair game. 
I want you to head up to the summit of Black Mountain and install this remote signal transmitter in one of their consoles. It will allow us to tap into the radar and other detection systems running there, assuming they're still operational. If we're going to operate on the surface again, it would be nice to do so with as much information at our fingertips as possible. Good luck. Yay. Come on, game. Just so happens that should be very quick to do. It's just a matter of getting out of this bunker in speedy time. I wonder how unique weapons are going to be handled in Fallout 4. Maybe instead of unique weapons, it'll have unique parts that you can customize your own weapons with. That would be more fun, I think. Okay, Black Mountain. I already know how to get there. Don't crash on me, game. Don't you fucking do it, please. Please. Is Neil still hanging out around here? Why? Yeah, he is. He's right there. Hmm. It's weird that they would just leave him there. The game developers, I do mean. Now, I remember... Or you may remember that I couldn't figure out how to get to the top floor. It was locked and there's no way to do it. Well, I was searching around. Can I not? Can I not get in there aside from going through the fucking door? Really? More things I have to load in the game, the more likely it is to crash. So thanks, game. Apparently, though, if you hack one of the computers... Rose oddly silent. Oh, I thought it crashed again. <sighs> Easy game. We have like another five minutes I need you to survive. Yep, there it is. It's just buried in the ground there. this transmitter oh, sheet music book where's the transmitter go here yay uh oh oh <sighs> this episode's almost over just don't crash just don't crash don't make me do everything again. Why is it facing the wrong way? It's okay. Almost done. Most done with the game, this must be what, episode 88, 89? Hmm. I think I can do everything else in the remaining episodes. The finale might be a little long, but it'll be worth it. I think. Okay. Greetings, my friend. I hope I can be of some assistance to you. I installed it. Yes, we've already started receiving telemetry from it. This will be a great help in our future efforts, and I thank you. Now then, it is my great honor to bestow upon you the title of Paladin of the Brotherhood for meritorious service above and beyond the call of duty. 
I'm afraid a formal ceremony was out of the question, given our current state. But I hope this will make up for it. I had the knights refurbish a suit of our power armor for your use. It's one of the earlier models, but it should serve you well. Now, I suppose I'm going to have to show you how to use it, aren't I? Don't I just put it on? If only it were that simple. Think of power armor as a machine to be operated, rather than clothing you'd wear. With a little instruction, using it becomes as natural as simple movement. But to the ignorant, it's just so much heavy junk. So let's bring you up to speed, shall we? First, let's go over how to put it on. And... Just like in Fallout 3, I now have the power armor training. There. I think you've got the knack of it now. You should now be able to wear any kind of power armor you come across. I've also given the order that all of our equipment be made available to you. Not just the more mundane arms. You're a member of the Brotherhood now. And your gear should reflect that. Lastly, you will be allowed to come and go as you please. You've done so much for us that to do otherwise would be a crime. I just ask that you keep the Brotherhood's interests at heart in all your dealings. Remember that you will always have a home here. Yay! Fuck you, that took too long. Alright. Now I'm gonna go and sell that power armor because I don't need it. I heard some special squad of rangers is on its way to the Vegas area. Guess the NCR is Have you heard the news? Elder McNamara has lifted the lockdown. Good news for this though, let me tell you. I can't wait to start getting more goods. So what are you here for? I want to buy stuff. Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. Do you have T-51 armor? You don't. You also don't have what he said I could get. Ah, this is in shitty condition. Pleasure doing business. Yeah, shut up. Okay, Raul. Never been a big fan of gangs like the Fiends, boss. I'm glad they're gone. Uh, head on without you. Good call. I mean, if that's what you really want, boss. I think it's the best. That's why you're the boss. You always make the right decision. I'll just head home home to my lonely abandoned shack in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> there have been reports that the NCR is moving more and more troops into the area. Okay, so all the Brotherhood stuff is done. It's just, and there's only one companion left to deal with who has a weird companion quest, but whatever. Oh, mm -mm. don't do it right at the end. So let me just get outside and that'll be the episode at long last. Get. Okay, so it's done. So thanks for joining me. Come back, I'll have the next stuff up real soon. But until then, bye.